All right, so all you Redmi K20 Pro users out there, a new version of Siberia OS is available. And on this particular ROM, I've made an install guide, I think already twice by now. It might be three times even. I mean, I'm not really sure. But yet again, a lot of people are asking me how to install this particular ROM and give us a guide. So here it is. You have a guide and there are things that you need to take care of and a lot of other things like how do you upgrade from an existing version of Siberia that is Android 11 to Android 12 and stuff will be covered in this particular video. So before we get into the installation guide, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,500 people over there with similar devices. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So first things first, what we have here is Siberia Project Android 12 initial release build 20th of December 2021. Now this is only available in vanilla version and remember this is a ROM in which I have been actively been a tester, a member, whatever you want to call because I directly am in touch with the developer Barney and he does keep sharing different builds with me and recently we did a review for this particular ROM as well stating this is the best and the most amazing Android 12 ROM available for the Redmi K20 Pro. This also works on the Mi 90 Pro. Now the first question that you have, you are using Siberia OS, Android version 11 or any previous version of Siberia, you want to update to this particular release build, how do you do it? Trust me, I'm not going to show any additional steps of how to save your data and do it. Do it the painful way, wipe everything, do a clean install that will give you the best experience and make sure that you don't get a lot of bugs. So let's see what we have here. Change log, initial build, notes. Always make a NAND backup, be safe, based on OSS vendor and Soviet kernel, flash Android 11 firmware of your region, back up your data since it might need to be formatted in case you are running ext4 as only f2fs supported android 12 issue of recovery being unable to decrypt encrypted storage exists so this is a twrp issue it doesn't fully support android 12 yet so these are the things that you might face an issue for now at the same time if you actually go to the phone ops army group and you type in over here called notes let me show you why and then you will have install Siberia K20 Pro. Okay, now as you can see over here, these are the instructions from official Siberia OS. First, make sure you're on the latest stable Orange Fox recovery. You can find it here. Or So these are basically step-by-step -step guides, step-by-step -step instructions. Now, important thing to note here, you need to make sure that your phone has more than 50% battery. My device almost has 100% battery over your running voltage OS. Make sure that all the data on your device is backed up. Remember, we are going to do a clean install. Your internal storage will be wiped. And if you're coming from any other ROM or you know any other experience, just go ahead and make sure you've backed up all the information that you need. You of course need to have an unlocked Redmi K20 Pro, which has TWRP, that is Orange Fox Recovery installed, and you will need a few files. Now, before we proceed, make sure that you've removed your Google account, your screen lock, face unlock, all those things and rebooted the device once. If you are coming from stock MI UI, make sure that you have removed your MI account as well. Now, considering that you've, you know, listened to all those instructions and followed everything, you should be good to go. So let's talk about the files that we will need over here, right? So I have everything on a pen drive because we're going to format internal storage and this device doesn't support a memory card. So you have this Android 11 DFE for F2FS specifically. We have G apps, we have the rough file firmware of Android 11, and then we have the Siberia OS ROM. So, you know, these are the files that you will need. Let's go ahead and go to advanced and select recovery. Now, what we will be doing is we will first convert the partition to F2FS, then we will wipe everything and we will install the ROM, okay? Now, I know I'm not using the recommended recovery over here, but this is the latest TWRP and it should be working just fine, right? So what we will do over here is go to wipe, and then go to advanced wipe, select the data partition, repair or change file system, change file system, select F2FS, swipe to change. 
Now remember, this is a OSS vendor based ROM, which means it doesn't need a F2FS patch. Okay. Now, once you've done that, let's go to reboot and select recovery. Okay. Now we are back into recovery. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage. Let's wipe everything. All right. Now, once you've wiped everything, go back to the main screen, go to install, select storage. Remember our files are on the OTG pen drive. So select the pen drive and hit OK. Now there are four files that we have to flash over here, right? So the first one is the firmware. Then we need the ROM. Then we need G apps. And last but not the least, we need DFE for F2FS. Remember we are on F2FS partition type. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash is about four files. So it will take about 45 seconds to a couple of minutes at the most. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see over here, the log is present. Flame G apps, ROM, firmware, and DFE, everything has been flashed. You can go ahead and wipe cache in Dalvik, right? Now, we've already formatted it to F2FS. So let's go to reboot and select system. Now, the first boot will take anywhere between 45 seconds to a minute. So please be patient while that happens. As you can see, we do have the Siberia logo and it should boot up real quick. This is one of the fastest booting ROMs that I've seen in a very, very long time. Now remember, F2FS is compulsory. You cannot boot this particular ROM on EXT4 partition. I'm quickly going to skip through everything. And I'll show you that we are on the latest version of Siberia based on Android 12. Okay. Smooth as butter as always. Great work by the team. And as you can see over here, Let's click on Android version, right? So the build date is the 19th of December. This is the latest version of Siberia with F2FS installed, Google apps present and decrypted as expected. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this detailed install guide for the Redmi K20 Pro and Siberia OS? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.